Howdy, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video for Elden Ring. My name is Vinice SGN. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a pretty powerful sword that actually feels sort of OP. I'll let you be the judge of that. Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to this channel with those notifications on, like the video, and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions at all about Elden Ring. Alright, so the weapon I'm talking about is the Lazuli Glintstone Sword. It's good because it comes equipped with the ability to launch glintstone pebbles, which on my character, a confessor, is pretty powerful. Enemies that I would normally have to hit twice with my previous weapon or full charge fireball incantation them to defeat them are now eliminated in one blast from this sword's glintstone pebble. What's more is that you can upgrade this weapon and make it even stronger. I did and it's now the strongest weapon in my inventory. To get this sword, you will need to have already unlocked the Glintstone Academy of Rhea Lucaria, and if you haven't done that yet and want to know an easy way to do so, please see my next video guide for help with getting inside of the Academy. The Lazuli Glintstone Sword is a drop from one of the normal enemies inside of the Academy. There is one extremely farmable location to do so inside of the Academy at the Schoolhouse Academy Site of Grace, seen here. If you want, you can fight the enemies along the way and gain runes to get there, but you can pretty much run past most of whatever is in your way. There are like four enemy types that you will have to face to get there. A slow moving zombie that will leap out and grab you, a few glintstone sorcerers that you kind of have to fight, um, and then these weird marionette things that kind of shred and of course you're going to have to fight them, and then there's like this one knight with a void black hole ability that you can completely skip. Um, here is the route to take to get to the farm spot for the sword. Alright, so I gotta tell you, the RNG with this thing was pretty awful for me, and it took almost 20 minutes before the sword dropped, but it was well worth the wait. This thing is really, really good with my character. I suggest once you get this sword, you enhance it immediately. Mine is a plus four, and it makes pretty much any fight easy. If this video was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, you can show me your thanks by giving me your like, and for more information on Elden Ring, please visit my channel and turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.